Hey guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be trying some items from YouTuber clothing lines on my curvy in-between body type. Dressing my body type is a struggle anyways. Like even when I go to big name brand stores because I'm a size 10 or a size 12, so I'm not plus size, but normal clothes look kind of funky on my body sometimes. I did a video like this. Oh, what was that? Maybe six months ago? It's been, it's been a while, but I did Aspen Ovard, My Life is Ava, and Miss Tiffany Ma's clothing lines. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the clothing lines that were started by three other YouTubers, Savannah LeBrant, Madison and Mallory of 11th Gorgeous, and Bonnie and Ellie, who started Bolly Brand. I actually recently launched my own clothing line, which a lot of you guys know, it's called The Curvy Crew. I'm wearing my shirt from it right now. It says, love your curves in the corner. Subtle merch plug, you can shop it from the link in the description, thecurvycrew.com, but that's not why I brought it up. I have a much different perspective now that I've started my own clothing line and I know how difficult it is than I did when I did the first part of this video. Don't worry, I'm still gonna be totally honest, I'm gonna be totally real, but I do have just a huge amount of respect for the women that have launched these companies because I know how difficult it is and obviously I'm supporting them to some extent because I'm featuring them in this video. So no hate, no tea, no shade. Also one little note before we get into trying on the actual clothes. In the first video that I did like this, I ordered one item from each of the clothing lines. But for this video, I decided to order two items from each clothing line. That way if they're, you know, there's always dud items in lines and brands and boutiques. So that way if one of them happens to just not be great, it doesn't reflect poorly on the whole clothing line, they get two chances, two chances to get it right. So two items from each brand. And also all three of the brands, the items shipped super, super quickly, which I was excited about. So already starting off good. So Savannah LeBrant is a YouTuber, formerly, I think it was Savannah Sutis, and she just got married to another YouTuber and they are just like family goals. Cole and Sav, I think is their channel. They have a five-year-old daughter. So cute. She launched her clothing line, I think about a year ago, and it's called Savannah LeBrant Style. Not the most inventive name, but hey, gets the job done. When I was scrolling through her website, trying to figure out which items I wanted to order for this video, I noticed that she has a lot of mommy and me collections. So they have like matching outfits for moms and daughters in different sizes, which I think is so cute and such a great idea and perfect for like who she is and what she does online. I think that's awesome. I don't have a little girl though. I don't have any kids and they don't make mommy and me chihuahua outfits. So uh, just one for me on this order. The first item I ordered is this navy floral romper in a size extra large. And this was on sale when I ordered she was having a 50% off sale So it was originally $44 and I got it on sale for 22 which I think is a great deal for a romper jumpsuit type outfit like this Let's open it up. Oh Man, I should have brought scissors upstairs. Here we go Extra large usually I'm a large but she's pretty petite So I didn't know if her items were gonna run smaller. So I thought I might as well just size up I'd rather it be too big than too small. I'm not usually the biggest fan of strapless, but uh, we'll see how it works out. So it has this elastic waist, which I do really like because it gives me definition. Usually I'm not the biggest fan of strapless, but I really don't mind this because it is a little bit higher cut and it has elastic up here. So it's not like, it's not like hanging down because of my boobs or anything. It seems like the key to this whole piece is the elastic. There's also elastic around the legs that brings it up a little bit. I'd say this fits pretty well. I'm definitely glad I went with the extra large because it is a little bit it's not tight around my thighs, but I think if I had gotten the large, it would have been. Right now, it just fits comfortably. It's not like hugging me or anything. I just don't know if this is really my style. I think it makes total sense as a mommy and me piece because I think this would look super, super cute on a little girl, but I'm not sure how I like it on my 22 year old body. It just seems a little bit, seems a little bit more young than I usually go with my clothes. But in terms of quality for $22, I think this is a steal. I don't know how I wanna do the rating for this video. Let me think about it. All right, I'm gonna rate it on three things. The quality, how it fits my curvy body, and then how I actually like the style. So you get all three. Quality, I'd give this a seven out of 10. It feels nice, the elastic feels fine. Doesn't feel like it's gonna wear out, but it is pretty thin. How it fits my curvy body, I'd give it an eight out of 10. It's comfortable, it highlights my waist, it is plenty roomy up here, plenty roomy in the hips and the booty. And for how it fits my personal style, I'll give it a five out of 10. I just, I can't see myself like pulling this out of my closet and being like, this is what I wanna wear. Maybe with a kimono, 
You guys know I love kimonos. The second item I ordered is this navy blue slouchy v-neck sweater. It was originally $44 and like I said, 50% off sale, so $22. Definitely not overpriced in my opinion. The item feels, feels nice and soft. It's a little bit thinner than I expected, but I live in California, so I definitely do not mind. Oh, and I got this in a large, my standard size, so uh, let's see how it fits. All right, the navy sweater. It's interesting to me that they called this a sweater because the material is so thin. It's it's more just like a long sleeve, which isn't a bad thing, but I definitely expected it to be thicker, more knit, maybe like some fleece on the inside. Love the V-neck, always a fan of that. It's not too low cut, so it's not like showing a lot of cleavage or anything. And it's a little bit oversized, a little bit longer, which I like because I feel comfortable wearing this just with leggings, it covers my butt. So I, I do like that in a sweater or a long sleeve, whatever you wanna classify this as. It's really a simple top, but it's nice. It's a really cute color, nice fit, comfortable, cozy. I feel like I actually will probably get more use out of this than anything else in the video because this is the kind of stuff that I wear on the daily. So um, quality, I would give this a six out of 10. It's not super high quality, it's pretty thin. All the sewing and the construction feels fine, but there's nothing like amazing standout about it. It's like on par with, with like target quality, I would say. How does it fit my curvy body? Nine out of 10, this is great. It's not hugging my tummy. A lot of the times oversized sweaters like this will be so baggy that they make me look like I'm wearing a 10. And for how does it fit my personal style? 10 out of 10. This is the kind of crap I wear on the daily. <laughs> All right, moving on to the second store. This is Bali Brand, and Bali Brand is a collaboration between Ellie from the channel Ellie and Jared and her sister Bonnie, who also has a vlogging channel. So combined, Bonnie, Ellie, Bali Brand, super cute. So I took a peek at their social media, scrolled through their website, looking at the items, and one thing I noticed is that they've talked about how they really wanna be size inclusive, which I think is so awesome, and I know how difficult it is to do a clothing line that's size inclusive since I did it. Also their product photos have women of different sizes and body types and ages. It just seems like they're really trying to be open and inclusive, which I just love. So the first item I ordered is their workout leggings. I got these in a size large and they were $64.99. So definitely more high end than like Savannah LeBrant's line. Open up the package. Ugh. Okay, these are so cute. Look at the pattern on the bottom. On the back they say Bali gold lettering. These look really nice. All right, I'm gonna try these on. I feel like 80s workout girl-esque in these, like with the little designs at the bottom, they kind of look like leg warmers at a distance. So I'm like, workout Barbie, let's go. So the Bali brand leggings, the quality is amazing. They feel so nice. The fabric is like buttery. When I put them on, they were super smooth. But one thing, it, they were a little bit more difficult to get on than I expected. I kind of had to pull a little bit. But once I got them on, they fit and conformed my body pretty well. The high-waisted fit is nice, fits my tummy nice, and the band at the top is pretty thick, which is slimming. Can't complain about that. I actually really wanted to do a pair of leggings for my clothing line, and it is so difficult to do, especially to make them fit well and make them high quality. Two thumbs up to Bonnie and Ellie for being able to make a nice high quality pair of leggings, because I know it's not easy. So let's get to the rating. How do the Bali brand leggings hold up? For quality, I would give these a nine out of 10. Like I said, just really high quality. You get what you pay for. How do they fit my curvy body? I would give it a seven out of 10. I think they fit pretty well, but they do get a little bit lighter in color around my thighs because I have thick thighs and the fabric is pulling more. And for my personal style, I'd give it a nine out of 10. I, I really love bright colored leggings like this and I'm just a huge fan of the design at the ankle but I, I'm a little bit insecure usually about bright colored leggings, so I wouldn't normally pick them off the shelf, I'd go for a black pair, but I'm glad that I tried these for this video because I think it's helping me conquer that fear a little bit. 
The second item I'm trying from Volley Brand is their navy blue button-up dress. And I got this in, again, a size large, and it was $59.99. I really love the look of this dress. It's a little bit more like conservative, modest, mature than I would normally go, but I'm 22. They're, you know, a little bit older than me. And I do love dressing like more put together sometimes, like for church, for dinners, just when I wanna feel like, yeah, a boss babe taking the city. So let's open this up and see how I like it. This is giving me like major like 50s housewife vibes. I did not think this was gonna be my style, but I really love the fit. So it's pretty long. It hits right at my knee, slightly below my knee. And I was afraid that that was gonna make it look more shapeless, but the dress is quite tight. It's almost kind of like a bodycon fit, but I like that this balances the form fitting fit with a longer dress and a higher neckline and sleeves. The fit is just awesome. And it also has this tie at the waist, which helps with the definition even more, but the dress doesn't even really need the tie for that because it is form fitting. So, the tie is just a nice little decoration. It is a little bit tight around my tummy and I was afraid that was gonna make the buttons pull, but you can see the buttons really lie flat all the way from top to bottom. So they're not pulling. I don't think I would need to size up in this. The large fits me pretty well. The quality is really, really top notch. The fabric feels nice and high quality. It's stretchy, but it's it's not thin. It's thick enough to to not like like cling to my tummy, if that makes sense. Definitely worth the price tag for the quality that you're getting. For how it fits my curves, I'd give it an eight out of 10. And how it fits my style, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 for my style. It's not something that I would typically pick off a shelf, but I really do think I'm gonna get wear out of this because I just love myself in this. I look good. Our third YouTuber clothing line is Madison and Mallory of 11th Gorgeous, and I'm pretty sure their boutique is just called Madison and Mallory. Again, pretty simple. <laughs> so this clothing line is a boutique. It's not a brand. They're not custom designing their clothes. It's like a curated collection. That doesn't mean it's any better or any worse than YouTubers who do like a custom line. It's just different. One of the benefits is that that means they have a ton of options and they definitely do. They also have an entire curve section, which is their plus size options, which I think is great. More inclusive, always love that. Also, how cute is their packaging? It's like pink polka dotted. I always love when brands have like unique packaging instead of just like normal white UPS envelopes. I think it's really cute. So the first item I chose are their Presley tie pants. And you guys know I love pants like these, flowy pants, palazzo pants, just like soft, comfy pants because they feel like pajamas, but they look like you're put together. This item was only offered in small, medium, and large, so I got a large and it was $34. These are black. I thought they were blue in the picture. I don't know if I got sent the wrong color or if I just looked at the picture weird, but I thought they were gonna be navy blue. They're black, but regardless, still love pants like these, so let's try them on. They do, the waist looks quite small, but maybe it's just tied on the belt. Let's try them on and see. Wah, wah, wah. They don't fit. Let's at least try to pull them together for the sake of the video. So these pants are the type of fit that I would typically love. They're just too small on me. And they're too small everywhere. I would need a size up, but they only go small, medium, large, so there would be no sizing up for me. I just can't wear these pants. I'm gonna tuck in my shirt so we can at least see the cute definition at the waist. So they have that paper bag pants type gather at the front, which I think is really cute. They have a tie at the waist for definition. They hit me in a really comfortable spot. They're just too small. Too small in the midsection. And also, even though they do fit my thighs and I pulled them over, they're like as tight as leggings, which is not, not how pants like this are meant to fit. Also, the length does fit me well, they go like right at my ankles, which sometimes pants like this are too long, so length is good. I'll have to give these to like Skylar or something because they're too cute to go to waste. So for quality, I would give these pants uh, maybe a seven out of 10. I think the price they charged for these was fair. For the fit, how do they fit my curvy body? I've got to give it like a, a three out of 10. They're just too tight. Too tight in the thick thighs, too tight in the tummy. And for my style, I would give these a nine out of 10. These are definitely the kind of pants that I would wear 
if they fit. So if you are a little bit smaller than me, I would definitely recommend these pants. I think they could be really, really cute. Just not right for me. The second item from Madison and Mallory is their Mila floral dress. And I love wrap style dresses like this. They are my absolute favorite. It kind of had that high to low detail, the tie at the waist. This just looks like something that I would love. It was $44. And again, it, this one just was offered in small, medium, and large. So I got a large. Price seems fair for a dress like that. But let's see, uh, let's open it up. Okay, cute. Oh, I love this color, especially for fall. Oh my gosh, I love this design. Okay, let's try it on. Okay, as soon as I put on this dress, I knew it was my favorite item in the entire video. I am living for this dress. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay, so it just fits my body perfectly. I checked the tag on the back and it's from a brand called Ila Ila. Never heard of them before, probably like a big manufacturer or something, but this dress, I need to find out who they are because I need more, more of this in my life. This is amazing. <laughs> what I love so much about the dress, it fits my proportions perfectly. There's nothing that's too big or too tight. The wrap style top is perfect and I love that wrap style design. It really flatters my figure and flatters my chest. But sometimes they tend to be a little bit too baggy when they're in that wrap style and show more cleavage than I'm comfortable with. And this really doesn't at all. This is not, not showing too much. I feel like I could wear this to church. I'm a huge fan of little flowy sleeves like this and they just look really, really cute on this dress. It's like, it's just like the perfect maxi dress. Good job Madison and Mallory for picking this one because I'm a fan, I'm obsessed. So. Quality, I would give it a seven out of 10. I'd say it's on par with American Eagle. And I think the price is pretty similar to what you pay for something like this at a store like American Eagle. How it fits my curvy body, 10 out of 10. I love it, this is amazing. How does it fit my style? Again, 10 out of 10. If I saw this on the rack at a store, I would grab it so quick. I'd try it on. If I saw, if I saw this in the dressing room, I'd be like, it's a good day. All right, guys, that is gonna be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments, did you agree with me? Did you disagree with me? And which item from these YouTuber clothing lines do you think was the best? I love seeing YouTubers expand out of just creating videos and other creative outlets. I think it's awesome. So definitely go support these clothing lines and uh, check out their websites. I will have links in the description. Also, links to my own clothing line. Again, subtle merch plug. So, so subtle. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys on Friday with another new video. Bye.